car is on fire right now. Dollars to every person who... This is the last time I will be seeing this Ultra B in my possession. XFam.com, if you want to shy at winning this, every dollar spent enters you to win. It ends in just a couple days, 12 a.m. Eastern time on April 15th will be the last day of entries. After that, within a week or two, we will be announcing the winner. It will be posted on the website. When you hear this, click the first link in the description, head over there. But that's it. My last time seeing this bike in my possession, I am going to really miss it, but I know one of you guys is really going to enjoy this bike. So with that said, let's get on with the video. Alrighty, folks, to wrap in, as you may notice, we are beginning today's ride, or tonight's ride, at nighttime. A couple of things you'll immediately notice. I have a headlight. This was a birthday gift given to me, and it's actually sick. <laughs> it's one of those very thoughtful gifts that you never think about needing until you have it. Oh, God. Tonight's going to be the perfect time to bust it out because we are getting things started at night. Why, you may be asking. Well, a couple reasons. First off, I had to do my taxes. That took all day. Yeah, I did kind of wait till the end of the deadline to get them done, which is my bad, but I got them done, so that's a W. Ooh. Secondly, it was 90 degrees today. It was really hot. So it was also a great excuse to wait till later on in the day to ride. A little bit later than I wanted to, but uh, you know what we're out here. I typically don't film at night ever for a multitude of reasons. One. I go to sleep really early. I mean, really early. I'm usually in bed at 9 p.m. I doze off at like 9.30 or 10 at the latest. So it's rare that I'm even awake at this time, let alone riding. It is, what time is it even? 8.21 p.m. This is for sure the latest I've started riding in film while riding in a long time. Like a very long time. But this is a perfect chance to test out our headlight. To come check out the graffiti wall, which uh, is definitely still graffitied up. There's a random chair, that's kind of ominous. Let's see what's going on in the city tonight. We're gonna start off by checking out downtown, seeing if this headlight actually even does anything. I think it will have some positive impact when I'm in really dark areas. Like right now, it probably has almost no uh, difference in how things look, but when I get somewhere real dark, it'll definitely look better. Looks like there was a hockey game out here tonight. Really kids out here doing their thing, love it. All right. One thing I hate doing after dark is stopping. So we're gonna try and do as little of that as possible. What is this priest planning on doing? <laughs> I was just about to say, there's nowhere for him to turn left right here. I mean, I can't even turn left where I'm going. These streets get a little hectic at night. We're not trying to go too far into downtown. We really want to do more like the outskirts at this time because I feel like that'll be more interesting than just checking out what's going on in the city. We may do a little bit of cruising here and there too. I mean, downtown is boring enough as it is during the day. At night, it's uh, not much better. I wonder how much this headlight is actually doing. This is uh, that's, that's something that wasn't there last time I was here, but you know, the downtown shuffle, they just shuffle folks around out here, which is it's sad that that's a solution to the problem. They just released a report on uh, the homeless expenditure in Los Angeles, and it was billions of dollars they had access to. And it was some number like every, there was $26,000 to every person who was uh, living on the streets out here. calling me to come back if i wouldn't do it during the day what makes you think i would at night <laughs> absolutely not there's just too much drama that comes around on these streets uh after dark there's way too much <laughs> there's too much bs actually gonna hit this alley this is one of the maybe the only alleys oh, we'll hit out here there's a guy down here too i'm trying to ride through all this sewage Standing out. A little bit of alley surfing after dark. Not much going on, honestly. Just cruising along. Okay, there's the first stretch of today's ride. <laughs> we did a couple alleys. Hit uh, that underpass, which is just outrageous at night. That's uh, not a place you want to be at night at all. These neighborhoods aren't really... Look at that view of the city, though. I don't know if you can even see. The GoPro does not have the greatest low light. I should have brought out the Action 4 tonight, but... You know, we were kind of moving quick. We really took up this alley real quick. This takes us up towards Wilshire. Wow, 
<laughs> it's a lot of fun riding around here at night, I can't lie. It's actually pretty thrilling, but the danger level is just so much higher for so many reasons. First off, there's reduced visibility, there is increased danger, and there is more people driving like crazy, trying to get to places where they gotta be, and driving more erratically to get there. There's like some LADWP work going on at night, or I don't know what exactly what, up, but we're gonna cut up here to this next major street. Also don't have any eye protection on right now. Not the best idea by any means, but uh, it's just so dark and I don't have clear shades. All my shades have tint to them, so I was like, I might as well not wear shades at all. We're gonna get lost around here real quick. I just, uh... oh, this is oh, kind of tight. I don't really know exactly where this street leads either. Well, I do see there's a downhill right here that I do recognize. See, can we eye it up? I think we're good after this car passes. Ooh! <laughs> Trying to hit that thing with some speed. Some gentlemen chilling right here. We're gonna pop off. Cut through here. Take a look at the uh, amount of graffiti over here. This street's crazy. We come down here during the day sometimes and uh, check out what's going on. Turns out there's a cop in front of us, so we're gonna chill out a little bit just to not get any unwanted attention. Oh, we gotta get around this cop. Yeah, we're just gonna fix. All right, <laughs> that street is crazy. The cops are, you know, chilling on that street all day. But uh, that's that's not one you want to be after dark if you have no business there. I just kind of ended up going down that street. It was not really in my intentions to do so. I've been in the city multiple times where drama goes down right there. Uh, pretty active part of the Westlake neighborhood. Anyways, we're cooking down in the city. We're going to get down to the actual main part of town. Do a little bit of after dark free ride. I can't lie, this is super fun. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy nighttime riding. I'm enjoying it right now. <laughs> I definitely am, so hopefully you guys are as well. I'm trying to be careful as we mob around too though. That's uh you know important I'd say. We do have a downhill that goes straight into the city. Do we take it? Oh we got a yellow, we got to, right? Why not? This one's actually sick. It goes over the freeway. Look at that view of downtown, isn't that nice? Bit. We're actually going to slow down, hit this free ride route to the right. We're just going to keep it moving all through here, right here. I was like, what is that sound? It's coming on a dirt bike. <laughs> it's kind of just a fun little route. I give it about less than a minute before security comes and kicks us out, but we're not even going to be stopping long enough for that to happen. Take this route, which is a Sky Bridge across the city, I think. That is, it goes across, uh, what is it, 4th Street? One of those? I don't know. The stair set right here, I can barely see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. Oh, that worked. Whew, that gave me some forearm pump. I can barely see where I was going. The light, this light up here is not doing that much. It's bright, but I think it's because it's like such a mixture of illuminated and, and not illuminated where I'm riding. You can't really, it's not providing that much of a benefit. All right, well, we got traffic that way. We're gonna go ahead and slide around this way. I think that's security. Oh. <laughs> They're like, what is that guy doing? I don't know either. I'm just out here having fun. All right, free ride up the stairs. We're just straight up free ride. I don't know what the goal was, but that's what we're doing. Oh yeah. Okay, bunny hopping up them. Ease. I would dude, what is going on with the lights right here? You guys see that? They're like alternating. It's kind of bizarre. 
straight up shredding. Where are we going? Let's see. Let's go this way. Got the photo shoot. Oh my god. Wait, it's actually so much fun riding around here at night. You can kind of just... <laughs> you can kind of just get out of here. You can just skedaddle. You can just zip around and kind of do what you want to do. That was fun. Let's see, we're gonna just not stop right here. Okay, from here, I don't know, we just kind of, we hit a hot lap, folks. <laughs> that was a little bit more active than I was kind of expecting to get, but that was fun. Let's see. I got an idea. Let's get around all these shenanigans for now. Bob is about to crack it tonight. I smell more than tacos are. I smell that LA cologne. You can catch my drift. I'm not gonna lie, Macy's Center is looking wide open. You know what they say about returning to the scene of the crime though? Never strike twice at the same scene. Actually, I don't know if anyone's ever said that, but I just did. Okay. We're gonna cut it through Staples real quick. Look at this truck. Hold on, wait, this thing's sick. We gotta catch up to this. Homie is mobbing. This is like a straight up monster truck. <laughs> Dude, that thing is wild. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, we're gonna cut through. We're gonna cut through the beautiful LA Live once again. Wow, who knew just riding around at night could be this much fun? What is this? Looks like, oh no. I always think when I come through here that something's on fire, but it's just, uh, it's just like, I don't know. Just like mist. Looks like something's burning though, huh? Weird. So we're gonna take a hot lap through this side of Staples. That might be our route for tonight. Let's see what's going on over here. Definitely some type of event. I'm pretty sure it's a hockey game. Uh, it is packed, but. Wow, folks, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. All right, let me know if you guys wanna see more nighttime footage. We are going to pick up tomorrow morning because uh, it is getting late. I don't wanna be out here too late free riding. So I'll be back right now when it is daytime. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we are out here in Valley Village. You can see the police chopper is very low. There's also a news helicopter right above that. A scanner says that there was a police pursuit that ended right around the corner from here. I'm actually pretty familiar with this area. This is where we come to film a lot of electric bike reviews. There's a path over here. Uh, I've never really gone this way though, so interested on in seeing what's going on over here. I don't know the quickest way to get down here. I'm pretty sure it would just be going through here. There's a cop standing out there. Oh yeah, it's a huge thing. Lady filming. Let's see how close we can get. Looks like they haven't totally shut the area off yet, so we may be able to pull up somewhat. I was so quick getting out of the car, I don't even have my gloves on. Oh, there's a fire. Just gonna slide past. Oh, this is a crazy scene. Looks like they got him in the middle of the street getting arrested. Car is on fire right now. Car is currently burning. This is a wild scene. Not sure how close we can get right here. This is about as close as we can get. Look at that, that is crazy. A lot going on right here. Dude, that thing is burning. There's no fire truck anywhere nearby. There's so many people out here in the middle of the day. Yeah, I definitely am going to move across the street. Fire trucks are coming. Traffic is blocked. Going back quite a ways. Oh, it was a pretty bad accident. That looks like it was kind of a major accident.
cops out here doing their thing. Oh, just a tire blowing up. This guy's trying to get out of here. Looks like it just went from zero to 100 so fast. So, from where I saw on the Citizens app, where this pursuit started was not that far from here. It was probably three or four stops up this freeway, which is the 170. I'm assuming he got off the freeway right here. There's an exit, and he started going south. He probably crashed going southbound right here on Lowell Canyon. If I had to guess, I actually don't know, but me knowing this area, that's what I would assume would happen. Man, what a wild scene, dude. We're actually gonna back up quite a bit. I don't come to the valley that often, but uh, seems like every time I do, I run into some outrageous, insane thing happening. Today's no different. I don't know if you can hear that guy howling. He didn't look too badly injured, but right, we're going to try and swing around a little bit. I don't know if that person realizes they can't get through there. I actually don't know these back streets. We're gonna see if we can get a northbound look on Laurel Canyon. I don't know if that's possible. I don't even know where I'm going right now. These streets are so confusing. How do I get around here? Looks like I ran myself into a dead end. <laughs> where the heck am I, bro? <laughs> well, folks, yet another day in LA, man. I don't even know what to say. Crazy. So we're up on here on Burbank. All right, from this way, looks like they got traffic blocked. These street lights are all off. Accident must have caused. I think we can cross here. Accident must have caused. I assume that it just cut power to the street lights all over here. Let's see how close up we can get right here. Fire department captain pulling up. What that looks like. I'm taking it, it was the gray one. That one was burning to a crisp. Crazy, they got that fire put out ASAP. So here's what it looks like from this side. Insane. Yeah, well, this is all but under control now. We're gonna turn around and get out of here. We gotta go a long ways around to get out of this area. It's another day in the city. Look over there at the distance. They're still just training. I wonder what the view those guys up there had. Probably insane. <laughs> <clears throat> wild absolutely wild scene out here in north hollywood california i guess this might be studio city somewhere on the border not sure exactly what part of town we're in right here but crazy this is the street a few times i have shot videos up here i talk about how people come flying up and down this street this is laurel canyon boulevard averagely it's not uncommon to see people going 100 down this street but 
That specifically looked like it was a high-speed chase going on. I'm sure there will be some information about it in the news, but uh, as for right now, we're gonna go ahead and depart from out here. I think even crazier is the odds that as I was coming down the freeway, I didn't see any of that. The freeway that I think is where that chase started, the 170 is the same one I take when I come south from Valencia to get to the city. And once I saw that helicopter going low, I was like, oh, something's going on right here on the way down. So I hopped off the freeway right where the mall is and parked up. Then from there to where the accident was, was only about, I would say like half a mile. But on the freeway, I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. There was no uh, signs of a chase. And I must have been quite literally right behind it. <laughs> I mean, like, right behind it. Or at least a couple minutes shy of it because I didn't notice a helicopter above the freeway or see any cops blowing it down. Uh, the 170, so. Wild, folks. Another insane day in LA. Oh, nice bag. Uh, if you like what you see, consider subscribing. And that's going to do it for today. Crazy. Now we got to get out of the valley. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Peace out.